What steps can African nations take to end the control imposed on them by Western powers decades ago? Instead of resorting to war, African nations pursued independence as a better means of challenging Western dominance. Witnessing Africa gain independence would be a significant blow to the West, as it would remove their control over the continent. The first step towards independence was the introduction of a new currency to break free from the French colonial currency. However, who was the secret figure behind initiating this move? Several West African nations are boldly taking steps to break away from the French-backed CFA franc, indicating a shift in their monetary strategies. This collective decision stems from the desire to sever long-standing ties with France and promote regional economic growth. The countries leading this change include Benin, Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau, Ivory Coast, Mali, Niger, Senegal, and Togo. Their joint initiative involves establishing a new common currency called the ECO, which aims to reduce business costs and eliminate trade barriers within the region. This transition signifies the aspiration for greater economic independence by bidding farewell to the CFA franc, with these nations aiming to chart their own course towards self-reliance and regional integration. The move goes beyond symbolism and represents a pragmatic approach to enhancing economic prospects. By pegging the eco to the euro, with France ensuring its convertibility, these nations strike a careful balance between autonomy and international connectivity. Is the goal of African nations to decrease France's control over them? Undoubtedly, the decision of multiple African nations to transition away from the French-backed CFA franc and adopt the new eco is a strategic move aimed at decreasing French control in Africa. This bold initiative is rooted in the pursuit of enhanced economic independence and greater regional integration, with the aim of disentangling these nations from historical ties with France. The eco, pegged to the euro and backed by the Bank of France for convertibility, symbolizes a concerted effort to reshape the financial landscape in favor of African autonomy. While this currency shift represents a significant departure from the past, it is important to acknowledge that certain aspects of French influence may persist. How did France control African nations when they were using the French currency? During the era when African nations utilized the French currency, particularly the CFA franc, France exerted notable control over their economic and monetary policies. The establishment of the CFA franc in 1945 was a deliberate strategy by France to maintain economic dominance over its former African colonies. Initially tied to the French franc and later to the euro, the CFA franc system provided a mechanism through which France could exert influence over seemingly independent African countries. One key instrument of control was the requirement for African central banks to deposit a significant portion of their foreign currency reserves with France, granting France substantial leverage over their monetary policies and effectively shaping their economic trajectories. The close connection between the CFA franc and the French currency allowed France to maintain a stronghold on the economic affairs of its former colonies, despite their nominal independence. Moreover, French influence extended into the governance structures of these nations through representation in the bodies of the Central Bank of the West African Economic and Monetary Union, further reinforcing and institutionalizing French control over crucial decision-making processes related to monetary matters in the region. While recent modifications have occurred, such as renaming the currency to the ECO and removing some overt controls, France's financial influence over these African nations persists. Cooperative agreements have allowed for the reintroduction of French banking representatives and daily reporting requirements on central bank transactions to France, underscoring the enduring influence. Despite the appearance of change, it is evident that French involvement in the economic affairs of African nations remains a complex and enduring reality. What plans do African nations have to weaken France's currency grip on Africa African nations are strategically planning to weaken France's hold on their economies by introducing a new currency called the ECO. 
This transformative shift involves abandoning the French-backed CFA franc in favor of the ECO, which is designed to serve as a common currency among these nations. By pegging the ECO to the euro and securing a convertibility guarantee from the Bank of France, African nations aim to reduce their economic dependency on France while fostering regional integration. The strategic introduction of the ECO reflects the collective determination among African nations to achieve greater economic independence. By breaking away from the French-backed currency, these nations actively reshape their financial foundations, emphasizing self-sufficiency and regional collaboration. The success of this plan depends on the effective implementation of the ECO and the ability of these nations to navigate the complexities of the transition, thereby weakening France's historical economic grip on the African continent. What factors motivated several West African nations, including Burkina Faso, to consider transitioning away from the French-backed CFA franc? Several key factors have motivated West African nations, including Burkina Faso, to contemplate transitioning away from the French-backed CFA franc. One primary motivation is the desire for greater economic independence. These nations perceive the use of the CFA franc, which has historical ties to France, as a symbol of economic dependency. By transitioning to a new currency like the ECO, they aim to assert control over their monetary policies and reduce reliance on former colonial powers. The transition is driven by a collective aspiration to enhance regional prosperity and foster economic integration among West African nations. Establishing a common currency is seen as a means to facilitate trade, lower transaction costs, and strengthen regional economic ties. This move aligns with broader efforts to create a more cohesive and self-reliant economic community. Using a common currency like the ECO is expected to reduce trade barriers among participating nations, stimulate economic growth, and promote smoother cross-border transactions and increased trade activities within the West African region. The CFA franc has long been associated with the historical legacy of colonialism. Transitioning away from this currency symbolizes breaking free from colonial influences and economic and cultural remnants. Adopting a new currency represents a step towards redefining these nations' economic narratives in the post-colonial era. Public sentiment plays a crucial role in this transition, as moving away from the CFA franc is often framed as a means to reclaim national sovereignty and assert control over economic decision-making. It reflects a response to public expectations for leaders to take steps towards greater autonomy and self-determination in economic matters. How will the change of currency affect the economies of West African countries? The transition to the eco in West African countries is expected to significantly impact their economies. Adopting the eco as a common currency within the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, is projected to streamline trade processes, lower transaction costs, and simplify payments. The move towards a unified currency aims to enhance economic integration among member countries, fostering increased regional trade and collaboration. Introducing a single currency could be pivotal in influencing economic growth and stability across West African nations. While the ECO may serve as a protective measure against monetary shocks and disruptions, there are concerns about how variations in economic structures and production capacities among member countries might impact the overall success of this transition. Striking a balance to ensure stability and growth remains a key consideration. The shift away from the French-backed CFA franc to the ECO represents a concerted effort by West African nations to diminish France's historical economic control. This symbolic move signifies a tangible step towards greater economic independence and regional integration. The success of the transition to the ECO hinges on meeting specific criteria including managing budget deficits, controlling inflation rates, adhering to central bank financing limits, and ensuring sufficient foreign reserves. These criteria serve as benchmarks for member countries, and addressing disparities among them 
will be crucial for a smooth and effective implementation of the new currency. Regarding the timeline for the currency change in West African countries, the transition involves moving from the French-backed CFA franc to the new common currency, the ECO. The official announcement of this change was made on July 1st by eight West African nations. Benin, Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau, Ivory Coast, Mali, Niger, Senegal, and Togo. This marked a crucial step in the long-standing pursuit of establishing a new currency in the region. The anticipated launch of the ECO is set to take place at the end of the year. This timeline underscores the commitment of these West African nations to expedite the transition process and usher in a new era of economic independence. The adoption of the ECO is expected to bring about positive changes, including easing business costs, reducing trade barriers, and enhancing prosperity for the more than 380 million people residing in the region. Establishing a new currency has been a topic of discussion and consideration for years, and the concrete steps taken by these countries reflect a concerted effort to move away from the historical ties associated with the CFA franc. As the launch date approaches, the successful implementation of the ECO will be closely watched. It has the potential to reshape the economic landscape of West Africa and mark a significant milestone in the pursuit of greater regional integration and autonomy. Establishing the ECO as a common currency contributes significantly to the West African nation's economic goals in several ways. The adoption of the ECO streamlines trade transactions within the region, contributing to the economic goals by facilitating easier and more efficient cross-border trade. A common currency eliminates the need for constant currency conversions, reducing transaction costs and administrative burdens for businesses engaged in regional trade. The ECO is designed to lower transaction costs associated with cross-border commerce. As businesses and individuals within the West African region transact in a shared currency, the expenses related to currency exchanges, hedging, and fluctuations are minimized. This reduction in transaction costs is a direct benefit to economic actors and contributes to the overall efficiency of the regional economy. The ECO catalyzes enhanced economic integration among West African nations. The common currency fosters a sense of economic unity, encouraging collaboration and coordination in various economic sectors. This integration is crucial for achieving economies of scale, attracting foreign investment, and promoting the development of a robust and interconnected regional market. A common currency like the ECO is expected to stimulate economic growth by creating a more stable and predictable economic environment, reducing currency-related uncertainties and risks, encouraging domestic and foreign investment, increasing economic activities, job creation, and overall prosperity. The ECO allows for greater coordination of monetary policies among the participating nations. This coordination can lead to a more harmonized approach to managing inflation, interest rates, and other monetary variables, contributing to regional macroeconomic stability. The ability to collectively respond to economic challenges strengthens the resilience of the participating nations. By adopting the ECO, West African nations reduce their dependence on foreign currencies, especially those backed by former colonial powers. This shift aligns with the economic goals of achieving greater autonomy and reducing external influence. It reflects a commitment to shaping economic policies more tailored to the specific needs and priorities of the West African region. The transition to a new currency, the ECO, in West African countries represents a significant step towards reducing Western control. The anticipated benefits of the ECO, such as easing business costs, reducing trade barriers, and enhancing prosperity for the more than 380 million people in the region, highlight the transformative nature of this shift, particularly the contributions of nations like Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, which have emerged as key contributors to the transition and the establishment of the Alliance of Sahel States. Among the West African nations, 
Burkina Faso has played a crucial and significant role in challenging existing monetary systems and historical ties with former colonial powers, notably France. Burkina Faso has demonstrated courage and proactive leadership in this transformative process, evident through its involvement in signing the Lit Goma Charter, a regional cooperation agreement. Additionally, Burkina Faso has shown a strong dedication to establishing a common currency called Sahel, showcasing a forward-thinking approach towards enhancing regional cooperation and economic independence. This commitment aligns with the broader initiative to break away from agreements with France and actively work towards creating a new currency. The decision to challenge established norms and work towards a new currency represents a bold and courageous step taken by Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. It signifies their collective effort to reclaim monetary sovereignty and reduce external influence in the region. By actively participating in establishing the Alliance of Sahel States and expressing commitment to a new common currency, these nations contribute to a broader move to foster economic autonomy and regional cooperation in West Africa. Captain Ibrahim Trora, who has led Burkina Faso since the September 2022 coup, has been a pivotal figure in the country's push for a major shift, particularly in its departure from ECO Bilais and the potential abandonment of the CFA franc. Trore has played a crucial role in signaling a break from what is perceived as oppressive ties, expressing a strong commitment to severing all bonds that he characterizes as a form of slavery. In a recent interview, Trore openly suggested the possibility of Burkina Faso abandoning the CFA franc, marking a significant departure from the established monetary system. This move is aligned with the broader objective of reclaiming monetary sovereignty and reducing external influence in the region. The emphasis on breaking free from perceived oppressions underscores Burkina Faso's determination, under Trora's leadership, to reshape its economic and political course. Furthermore, under Trora's leadership, Burkina Faso has taken bold steps, such as an immediate exit from ECOWAS and the formation of the Alliance of Sahel States, alongside Mali and Niger. This strategic alliance represents a collective effort to break away from existing regional structures and assert greater autonomy. Trora's decisions and leadership are instrumental in shaping the economic and political landscape of West Africa, signaling a transformative period as Burkina Faso actively seeks to redefine its place in the region and reduce external influences. The complex relationship between France and Africa, particularly through colonialism and the establishment of the CFA franc, has led to France's eagerness to maintain control over Africa. The CFA franc, initially introduced in 1945, has been a key instrument through which France maintained economic influence over its former colonies. This currency arrangement, tied to the French franc and later the euro, gave France significant control over the monetary policies of these African nations. There are several reasons for France's interest in maintaining influence in Africa. The historical ties and colonial legacy have shaped economic and political relationships between France and its former colonies. France has maintained economic interests, access to natural resources, and strategic influence in the region. Additionally, the stability and value of the CFA franc have provided advantages for French businesses and facilitated trade between France and its former colonies. However, as West African nations strive for greater economic autonomy and reduced external influence, the dynamics of this relationship are being challenged, leading to a transformative period in the region's economic and political landscape. Africa possesses abundant natural resources that have historically played a pivotal role in global trade and economic progress. French companies, benefiting from economic ties with African nations, have gained advantages through access to these resources, thus contributing to France's economic interests. The continent's strategic geopolitical significance, both in terms of resources and global affairs, makes it important for France to maintain influence in African countries. This allows France to secure strategic partnerships and alliances, 
reinforcing its position on the international stage. The historical ties between France and its former colonies have created enduring cultural, political, and economic connections. These connections may be preserved due to factors such as historical identity, shared languages, and diplomatic relationships. Additionally, France may view maintaining influence in Africa as crucial for addressing security concerns arising from instability in certain African nations. By exerting influence, France can contribute to stability and security in the region, which in turn safeguards its economic interests and geopolitical positioning. The question arises, is it necessary for African nations to achieve economic independence at this moment? Financial independence grants African nations greater control over their economic policies, resources, and development strategies. It presents an opportunity to shape economic trajectories that align with national priorities and aspirations. Achieving financial independence reduces external influence, particularly from former colonial powers or other international entities. It empowers nations to assert autonomy in decision-making, trade negotiations, and economic partnerships. Financial independence serves as a catalyst for stronger regional integration among African nations, fostering shared prosperity and stability through collaboration on economic policies, currencies, and trade agreements. Moreover, it provides the flexibility to diversify economies, moving beyond reliance on a narrow range of commodities. This diversification is crucial for long-term sustainable development and reduces vulnerability to global economic fluctuations. Many African nations have a history of colonization, leaving behind enduring economic and social legacies. Pursuing financial independence can be seen as a means to address historical injustices and reshape economic systems to better reflect the needs and interests of African populations. Financial independence enables African nations to position themselves more competitively in the global arena. It empowers them to negotiate trade agreements, attract foreign investment on their own terms, and actively participate in the global economy.